You talk? A talking dog! Where's the bus at? Right. Kevin, does he talk like people too? Oh no! The bird named Kevin talks like a bird! Oh, and by the way, Kevin is a girl. She is baby birdies. Oh yes, she does. Um, so hey. what does Kevin look like? I'll show you. A wilderness explorer is always prepared. I have a picture. Huh. Okay. <laughs> oh, my, that's a big picture. You can keep it. For me. Oh, thank you, Russell. <laughs> oh. So that's a Kevin bird. Let's hang it up for everyone to see. Yep. yep. Kevin has long legs. She can run very fast. Very fast. And she's colorful. Loud and big. I can see that. Sounds like you had an amazing adventure. We did. Kevin is the reason we love birds so much. That is great. Well, Kevin was just the beginning. Yeah, hey, explorers, do you want to meet some of the birds that call this place home? I do! I can't wait to have another bird adventure. Oh, oh, look over there! It's Miles! Hi, buddy! Look at that, Doug! That is an interesting bird. Yeah, well, this is Miles, our trumpeter hornbill. Trumpeter hornbills are found in the forests of Africa. They're built for extreme flying. They dart maneuver around trees, chasing their favorite food, flying insects, without losing any speed. Hey, I know! What do you want? Like you can do this. Here we go. I'll make it a little easier. How about that? You ready? <laughs> you know what? It's their choice to do all the behaviors we have. That's fine. If you're ready to go, you can head on inside. There you go, bud. Yeah, I know. You <laughs> Bye. that wild. Come on, there are lots of birds that live closely with people. Yes. For instance, we see songbirds all the time. Oh, morning the oh yeah, we have these guinea fowl that run all over the place. I'm sure you guys have seen ducks today. Those yeah. white ibis flying in big groups. Mm -hmm. And oh yeah, oh. of course there tends to be chickens. Oh, oh. Hello, okay. ladies. This oh, by the lambs. There you go. You can... Exercise, that's right. Ah, uh, chickens. Oh, chicken birdies. Oh, oh, come here, you chicken birdies. Come here. We'll be come right Chicken then. birdies. Oh, 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 oh. Come back, boy. I think they eat for more than they can handle. Because chickens are fast and they're pretty smart, too. Right? Smarter than most people believe. <laughs> there are all kinds of birds here with special talents and others with charming personalities that make them so lovable. Yeah, like parents. They grow on you. Uh, but they can be one of the most challenging pets to live in the home. Yeah, they can bite. Scream? And they poop everywhere! Yeah. Not what you want your roommate, right? Yes, but some of these birds are so smart that they can mimic what they hear from the world around them. Just like Groucho! Oh, we you. have to show you this bird. Yeah, this is Groucho, our yellow-naped Amazon parrot. Can you, uh, first things first, do you want to give everybody a nice big hello? 
Hello? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Groucho always makes us laugh, right, Corey? Yes. Groucho lived in a home for a while, heard the sounds around him, has learned to mimic those, has learned to show it off in a pretty incredible way. All right, bud, are you ready to show off a little bit? You ready? <laughs> Pretty impressive, but guess what? He doesn't know just one song. Oh no. He knows seven different songs from beginning to end. Absolutely amazing. But, you know, his audience has been pretty amazing. Why don't you give him a nice big kiss? Oh. 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 Good stuff, that kiss. <laughs> I got you. You know six more songs. You can whichever one you want to sing, okay? You ready? Absolutely. Seven songs. We have never met another parent that mimics it as as Groucho. And you said there were chickens everywhere. Uh, be my friend. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please be my friend. Uh, I am back now from tracking chickens. Did you have fun chasing the chickens? Oh, yes. They were fast. But not as fast as Kevin. She could outrun them. Oh, really? Dinosaur! Scary birdie! Scary birdie! No! Wait, Doug! Come back! Wait, wait, you guys! She is not scary! Just a little bit! Remember Russell? Russell, I am glad you are still here! Wait! Well, I'd like you all to meet our Andean condor. We call her Sadie! That's a big bird! <laughs> One of the biggest. She has a wingspan of about 10 feet across. Want to show that off? Don't worry, everyone! That's right, Russell! There's no need to worry! You know? Vultures, they come in all sizes. There are many different species of vulture. They're all so, so important because of what they eat, which is... They eat carrion! Yeah, there's yeah. animals that died out in the wild. Vulture comes along, cleans up the mess, stops the spread of disease. In a way you can call vultures, nature's recyclers. So, so important. All right, Sadie, so you're doing a great job. Do you want to show off your cute little run? This way. It wasn't that long ago the bald eagle was on the endangered species list. But then, through conservation efforts, all of us came together to help the populations recover. And I'm happy to say the bald eagle is no longer an endangered species. Wow! We can really make a difference. That's right. You know, if we all make a conscious effort to protect our environment and all the creatures we share it with, we can all make a very big difference. Thank you, Hope. And now, Introduce my favorite feathered friend, the peacock. Ancient mythology from India. A story is told that once the tail feathers of more peach were dull, but in gratitude for the more protection of the people, the peacock was given his beautiful iridescent feathers. 
Now, during the season of Diwali, the peacock is a reminder for us all to shed off our past and to embrace the renewal and hope of the coming year. I call this beautiful creature Nabil, which is a very noble name. And not only is peacock Moor in Hindi, but Moor is also the name of my wilderness explorer's lodge. What a beautiful birdie! A very, very beautiful birdie! <laughs> wow, this has been a great bird adventure. Russell, did you realize there's literally thousands and thousands of bird species all over the world? So you don't have to go that far to find them. Can you live in your own backyard or even in a park back home? You know, what are the names of Kevin Bird, and Eagle, and now, or even a peacock? You'll discover birds and other animals with incredible stories, and discovering their stories is just the beginning of your adventure! Smile, Russell! For you! Now go explore! Wow! A new camera! Thanks! Hey, Russell, check out that Togo 2 cam behind you. That's a cool bird! Hi, Sunny! Yeah, a little spectacled owl over here with Shauna as well. The <laughs> Livingston Soraka. They have that gorgeous green and mohawk on their heads. Absolutely. Oh, kids up! You've got a new friend, Russell! <laughs> they like me! They really like me! They sure do! I too can run around like the birdies! Look as flying like a bird now! <laughs> hey! Adventure is out there! Oh! So many birdies! I want them all! Thanks for showing us so many birds! Ah, uh, pleasure. I'm glad you can all visit our feathered friends here. Like the fireworks of the body, birds in flight meet hope for the new year. Nature and all.